Congratulations, Jonathan and Samantha. Once again, you saved the city of Megalopolisville by capturing one of the greatest and most terrible villains, the evil Lead Woman. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without the help of our friends, the Impressives. These bars of gold are safe again. Oh, Lead Woman, it seems like this time, the only bars you're going to get your hands on are not gold, but iron. The bars in the jail of Megalopolisville. And remember, you'll have to get through the Impressives before you get your hands on any gold. It won't be the first time I get through lots of men to get some gold, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 very funny. Oh, very funny, of course. But in truth, Lead Woman is really... This unknown man. Oh, man. What? That was a bit sexist. The thing you said about getting on top of men to get money? But everyone laughed. I saw it. Yes, but it was funny because it was a woman talking. Because then it's just a politically incorrect joke. But when the situation changes to a straight male tied up, it's different. There isn't much you can say. Of course there isn't much I can say. Me, for example, whenever I'm that close to a tied up straight man, I have my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, don't laugh, guys. Do not laugh. It's a trap. I knew it! What looked like a good zinger and somewhat offensive joke from a gay guy, who was allowed to and therefore totally acceptable, is actually a homophobic joke that perpetuates a negative and promiscuous stereotype. Yeah. But... But what? It's just in this case. I think she's allowed since she's... She is what? Say it. A woman. She is a woman, obviously, right? A woman? I don't think that's what you were gonna say. Did you mean to say I'm a... Whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. She said that. None of this came out of our mouths. We are okay. She can say that. Maybe. But let's see if this is not a mask, too. No, no. What are you doing? What? What if it really is a mask? Hmm. If that's the case, then what she said will be a whole lot worse. Exactly. For now, we are all fine. It's just a regular situation with a black person saying what she can say. And if we take off that mask and it's not a black person, there's also the blackface issue. And that is going to be a pretty bad situation for everyone. No one wants blackface in here. Not me. I don't either. So it might be a good idea for you to let me go, all right? This rope is starting to hurt me a bit. Oh, God! Did you tie this black woman up? Oh, my God! What? No, of course not! No, that is not what I... Uh, hey! What are you doing with that cell phone? We are in a very bad situation with a black woman tied up in front of us. But if we take off her mask, it might get worse. Or it, it could be better. I, I really don't know. You are playing a very dangerous game now. Did you notice that her voice got much, much deeper just now? A very dangerous game. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, damn it! I don't give a f about that. This isn't good either. Not quite, Jonathan. He is Russian. Okay, but what is his place in society? He doesn't want to know! I give zero f**ks. But isn't it wrong for him to... I don't give a shit about all of this, or you. But what the f**k? What is going on here? How does this even fit into the discussion about what is right and wrong nowadays? I don't think you understand. Like I said, he's Russian. What does that even mean? I don't understand anything right now. Who is this guy? What is his role in all of this? I think you better stop asking questions, Jonathan. We dug a little too deep. 